Now, what's up, furballs? I am Purple Kitty, and I tried to get this stream, this uh, video, this live stream started uh, almost an hour ago, and then my computer decided to be a butt. Joe Man Gaming, hey, nice to see you. Thank you for joining. Uh, I have no idea how this is going to look. It might be choppy, and if it is, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm starting a new game. All right, we're gonna see if this uh, this stream is successful. Um, oh, finally, I made it to Luminsula. Okay, so this is a game called Gun Witch that I just recently discovered on Steam, and. Uh, it was a free download, and I just I grabbed it because it kind of looked interesting. The idea here is that you're a uh, you play as Beretta, who's a, a human that just arrived in a world called Luminsula uh, in a land of fairies, and rather than using magic, she uses a gun. I don't know. So the they're supposed to be I think she's supposed to have magic bullets or something like that, but. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what she's got, but yeah, she's <laughs> she, yeah, she's supposed to use a gun. Let's see. I can't wait to get started with my training and become a real witch. I should press F to advance these, the text. Okay. What was weird? All right, F. Oh, she must have heard the noise with this. Ma'am, your boobies are lopsided. New girl is here. Howdy? You you open with howdy? All right. Name's Beretta. Are you the person I'm supposed to, who's supposed to pick me up? Yes, I believe so. My name is Claire, and I'm the class representative of the English language of Redwood Academy. Please follow me to the school. You can press your left or right keys to move in space to jump. Yeah. Excellent. House delivery. Also, um, up to use doors. Okay, that's it. Please hurry up or we'll be late. Where's the school again? It's pretty close from here. Just go right until you see an imposing building. I don't know if I want to read everything that they say. If you don't remember what I said, you can just correct press Q to check your quest log. And press escape to access, access the main menu and other options. I actually already know the controls. I've fiddled around on this game a little bit. Not if you need to close any window, menu windows, bleh. you just need to press the same button again or press escape. Okay, so yeah. Escape to move to the menu and stuff. F to advance text. Jump. Up. Alright. Let's get... Alright. She said... Oops. Oops. Oh. I'm so used to moving around with Minecraft and using the WASD keys for that. Minecraft and other games do that. Alright, let's see. Uh, how do I talk? Wait. Alright, alright. No. no. That F. Okay. Use F to advance the text and also to start talking to people. Alright. Alright. Back in my day, we used to have much better relations with those people up north. What's up north, you say? Yeah, I'm under strict orders from Faye Vivian. Not to tell you whippersnappers anything. All right, thanks. That's, that's just... You're so sweet. Ooh. Get out of my way, I'm busy. All right, excuse me, need to talk. Oh, hey, Claire. Here we are, I'm glad you found it. It's a small school, but it's nice. I know this is your first day and all, but Professor Shirley already assigned us work. Don't worry, Claire, I can handle it. I know, I know, I believe you. But you better convince Professor Shirley, too. She wants us to go to the peaceful woods and practice our magic by killing ten snails. I can also help if, if you'd like. Hey, Saresta, I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> but welcome to the chat. Welcome to the, <laughs> welcome to the video. Uh, I have no, does anybody, can anybody tell me how smoothly this is running? Is it dropping, I guess I'm not moving around enough to tell if it's dropping frames or anything, but. 
Saresta. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Sorry about that. Seems okay so far. All right, that's good to know. All right. I got this. Let me warm up my magic real quick. How do you... Oh, yes, I forgot to tell you. You should press A to use magic. Okay, A. That's what... Okay. I'm, I'm going to forget and hit the wrong button, just so you know. I'm going to hit the wrong stuff. Like this? Like this, with the F, with the F that I just pressed. Yeah. <laughs> that one is, a, is an example of me hitting the A, A key by hitting the F key to advance the text. I've never seen someone with a gun type attack before. That's sure interesting. Maybe avoid Faye Vivian, though. She's really particular about these technology-inspired magics. The hell is Faye Vivian and why should I care? <laughs> master of the school and the leader of our entire village and she doesn't like to be trash talked oh I get the feeling Vivian's gonna have to oh shoot I don't want to get kicked out just after I got here I'll be back soon after I kill those snails don't forget you can use Q to check your quest log to see your progress okay I'll make sure thank you yes confirmed I got it good only when you jump. Yeah, I think when it when I jump around, it might drop some frames. If you're ever at a loss what to do, just press Q. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Press Q for everything. I get it. Oh, man, my magic runs out awfully quickly. Oh, right. You can heal your magic po points faster if, you, if you're out of combat for a couple of seconds. All right. Don't ask me how it works because I don't know either. Uh, something about shooting or being hit, I think. All right. Oops, oops. Hey, talk to me, Professor Sheffield. Isn't Faye Vivian so mysterious? I've been looking into her for, into her past for decades, but I still know almost nothing about the woman or her sister. Ever try asking her? Just feel like, hey, Vivian, yo, tell me about stuff. Tell me about yourself. Get back to work! Alright. I don't know if I should be exploring first or if I should go out and fight snails. Let me get my cursor out of here. Let's see. Magic shop. Do I have anything? Moons? Lunes? Lunes? Five? I'm, I'm assuming that's the currency here. Library. looks almost the same as the one in Lapyard City. Probably has something to do with just, you know, reusing the same graphics. You know, for efficiency. Alright. I don't suppose I can, like, read any of the books or anything. No, no, no. Like Alright. Let's go shoot some snails. Yeah, that's it. Pew, pew. Wow. These snails have a lot of hit points. I don't know what I'm picking up. What are those? Snail shells? Alright. Do I want to kill all of them on the screen? Or? I guess so. not really a point in trying to clear the stage because they'll just respawn.
I got killed by a blob. It's my fault I took my eyes off the screen because I was about to try to read the chat. The game I downloaded from Steam has too much text as well. FPS is kind of slow. <laughs> well. experience is payment for another life. Well, I guess that's fair. No, it's fair. It's fair. You're alive again. Don't, don't, don't whine about it. How much did she take, though? Four. Boring pink snail. Might be helpful in potion making. What did she say I had to do? I had to kill ten snails? Okay, I've killed seven so far. Alrighty. So let's see. Well, I'm gonna kill the lobs and see what this takes them. Oh! If he runs out of hit points enough, it starts to require me. That's good to know. Ugh! What can I say? I guess I got a knack for these things. <laughs> I'm a bit jealous. Oh, look, here comes the professor. Good evening, kids. Or is it morning? Anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. Everyone, we have a new student today. That's not space. Hey, kid, go introduce yourself. Hurry up. Hi, everyone. My name's Beretta, and I'll be your classmate starting today. I hope we can get along. Nice job, Beretta. I was very moved. <laughs> really? Is her hair color? Nah, I'm assuming you mean in this game? Nah, it's just... Everything's preset already. <laughs> I thought I had your name. Didn't I talk to you earlier? You gave me a name, right? Weird. Watch your mouth, potty girl. I can say whatever I want. You're the one barging into school acting like you own the damn place. He took her please. Yeah, it did t give me her name earlier. She got into the school by her own accord. I bet she snuck in using human technology or something. Yeah, I got in fair and square. What, is your pride sullied or something, stupid twin tails? I saw her magic too, it's a gun of all things. She's as human as it gets. Itaka, you can't just say that. You know Faye Vivian's stance on these things. Girls, girls, calm down. Beretta, please come talk, come, bleh, come talk to me about your evaluation to take your evaluation. Please, Faye Vivian, get me out of this hellhole. What the hell's an evaluation? I didn't come to magic school to take, take a stupid math test. They're like, um, an aptitude test to determine your rate of growth and upon level up. Upon level up. Not just a human, but American. <laughs> Are we in an RPG or something? Don't get self-aware, come on. Something like that. Anyway, just go talk to Professor Shirley. 
Please forgive me for not giving everybody actual unique voices. I don't feel like it. Surely. Up there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Beretta. I'm sorry for the rough welcome. Please take a seat over there. Uh, I swear, if I get asked about the height of the random ass triangle one more time. Shoot, we're out of here. Does anyone fund this damn school anymore? Beretta, if you would be so kind, could you ask Itsuka for some more ink? Why her? Is Itsuka the ink witch or something? <laughs> ink witch. She's one of Redwood Academy's very brightest, and she likes to write down all her spells and formulas. And she happens to have a lot of ink. Well... Uh... Wait, where did she go? I thought she was... Is she here? She's not in this room. Okay. Did she leave? Did I miss that? No, that's not her. Oh, that is her. I thought that was someone else. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. Can you not? I just need some ink, dude. Well, okay, I have one extra bottle. Don't spill it or we might run out of ink for good. Can't you just buy more, ma buy some more or magic it up? This is special ink, so it costs a lot of magic to create. We don't use the filthy human creations. Excuse me for a minute. Our ink never fades. It's water resistant. It changes color to suit your taste, and it can turn invisible. Okay, okay, I get it. Dumb humans can't understand our ways. I'm sorry I came off as harsh. Are you? Are you sorry? <sighs> I just haven't seen a human in such a long time. I get startled easily, okay? Ah, <laughs> it's okay. Thanks, Itsuka. I'll give this to the prof. Hi, Afterburn. Yeah, well, it looks like it, I guess. I mean, I think it's a little choppy here and there, but... Oh, right, I'm going up this way. But it seems to be going... At least it seems to be worth looking at a little. Don't worry too much about Itsuka. She's a bit stringent, but she means well. I think I understand. No worries. Here's the test. Just answer the questions to the best of your abilities. Ah, fine, okay. Do 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 scribble, 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 circle, circle. I just really just wrote a bunch of random answers and hope it's right. Okay, let's see. Based on your evaluation of report, you have excellent potential. Ah, very cool, Professor Shirley. When are we going to get back to the pra practical lessons? Oh yeah, one more thing. Go read this book about controls or something. Um. Would you stop telling me to use Q to open my quest log? I already know that! W for world map, E for your items, R for, R for stats and skills. See, that's a new one. If, I t if somebody tells me to press Q one more time, come talk to me when you're done. Also, don't forget to press escape so you can save. Although, we do auto-save after every quest. Alright, watch this magic trick. Boom! Save. Look at this! Q! She wants me to read. She wants me to read. Wants me to read what? Is it, uh... Okie doke. Wait. I already forgot. No, don't, don't, don't shoot people in the school. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, I'm done. When are we getting back to practical lessons? When are we getting back to punctuations? Punctuation. You need like a comma there, or a period. Right now, hurry along to your potions class with Professor Leister. So, where is he? Oh, I don't know. Just talk to some random people. I'm sure you'll find him. <laughs> also, this is just between you and me, but try to get a different type of magic as soon as possible. Faith Vivian's not, fa not a fan of technological magecraft. Well, Faith Vivian can just... Eat my glowing green pellet things. Alright, where am I going? I'm talking to people. I'm talking to random people to find another person. Oh. Hi, Professor Leister. Here's the last student. Uh, I forgot your name. My name's Beretta. I'm the new student. Is that so? No wonder I didn't recognize you. Okay, class, we're going to learn healing magic today. Now, um, we need class. 
I mean, I, I'm over here, Itsuka's over there, Claire's over there, uh, dude over there. Just like everybody's on the opposite side of this room but me. Hope everything goes well. Thank you, Joe. Ha ha have a have a good night. Have a good sleep. Thank you for coming to see, to to watch my stream. Hope you have a good rest. Excuse me, class. Let me get back to my office. I seem to have forgotten the ingredients. We need snail shells, slime jelly, and slime rot. Slime rot. Ew. Thank you, uh, uh, or no, Beretta. <laughs> Itsuka. Thank you, Itsuka. We need 20, shell, sli 20 snail shells, 5 slime jellies, and 2 slime rot. This should be enough to make 5 potions. Okay. Well, I happen to grab a couple of uh, slimes. Uh, sl sl I happen to shoot a couple of slimes, but I don't know if I have anything. Okay. You can find all these ingredients in the woodland groves. Don't forget, when you need to check your level and other stats, you just press e press R. Insuka, was that really necessary? Yes, now hurry up and get going. Look, R. I can press R. See? I already know how to do that. Okay, so this is telling me... Okay, Loon. Loon is the currency. I've got seven shells, and I need how many again? Twenty? And I got one slime jelly. Could be a mini slime if you add electricity. All right. Uh, okay. Time to go shoot stuff. Pew pew. I don't remember them dying that fast. Did I level up? I forget. I've got 20 shells already. All right. Are you gonna fall off the ledge and come after me? No. I'll just kill you. Five shells, five slime jellies, and a rabbit fur. I need how many slime jellies? I forgot. Does it say? Ten jellies and two rot. Jump, do it, jump. Nope. Ah. Oh good, I hit I heal one level up. That's good. good to know. Pretty easy going game. 
so far. <laughs> Slime rod. All right, I just need how many did I need? Ten, and I have nine. I just need one more. That was another. Sue, you got going on there, Beretta. Yeah, that looks way better than mine. You're all the way across the room. Why are you talking like you're right here? Thank you, Professor. You too, Claire. Mine's pretty good, too. Of course, it's of course. But look at Beretta's color. I haven't seen the likes of that since. Uh, mm, 1987. <laughs> A while. <laughs> I bet she just got lucky. All right, whatever you say, it's got. This here is the health po is the health potion. Five of them, in fact. You can press S to use it and heal twenty hit points. All right, there we go. S for hit points to heal. Sometimes you'll get lucky, and a monster will also drop one. That last part wasn't necessary, Professor. Now on to the next task. We need twenty slime jelly, five rot, thirty snail shells, ten rabbit furs, and a rabbit head. This should be enough to make ten potions. These must be some disgusting, disgusting potions. I bet they taste awful. Do I have to drink them? Maybe I spray them on myself. I bet they smell bad, too. I believe you can find these ingredients a little beyond Amnesia, but I forget where the, uh, what the areas are called. Alright. Whatever. I got this. Let's go blow up some more stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Because we're not tired of watching me shoot snails yet. Oh, I still hit him. Okay. Thought for sure the shots would fly over there. Over those shells there. snail shells. Okay. I don't have enough yet. I kind of quit that one. Well, I'm just going to shoot stuff for a while and just... Just walk. 
talking to the enemies. Go away. Go. Go. Move. Also, I think I just drank a potion by accident. Although, if I did, I would look good. probably need to Alright. Jump. Oops. Jump. No. <sighs> Get your controls straight, kitty. Jump. There we go. probably stop saying that every time I level up, right? I keep forgetting how many I need. 30, and I'm at 21. 21? Yeah. Nine more to go, eight more to go. the snails.
rabbit's foot. A rabbit head, how could you? <laughs> That's good. Hey, prof, I got your crap. Another wonderful creation by Roberta. If this keeps up, I'll be out of a job soon. Ah, thanks, Professor. I just want to make a good impression. She's sucking up! She's sucking up! <laughs> this here is the Mana Healing Potion. Ten of them this time. You can use D to use it. D, right there. You know I'm gonna hit that by accident. And get 50 magic points. As with the Health Potion, sometimes monsters will drop them. I don't know, do I need to get magic points? They, they come back pretty darn fast. I guess if I'm in the middle of a of fighting a whole lot of them. If you run out of magic points during battle and can't afford to stand stand still, just spam some more spam more pots. Okay, hurry along now, children. Go to your next lesson by Professor Shirley. Yes, sir! Hey, Cheryl. Cheryl, I don't think that makes a good nickname. Uh, hello, students. I was supposed to prepare a lesson today, wasn't I? Uh, maybe some other time. I need to deal with some pesky paperwork. Talk to me tomorrow. I don't feel like teaching today. Come back later. No worries, Professor. I can take over if you'd like. Don't bother. Go play amongst yourself. The day's almost over anyway. Poor Yitzka. I mean, I guess I kind of feel bad about it for her. Get out of my way, I'm busy. Right. Hey, Claire. Boo. Hey, let's go do something fun. I want to go check out those weird animals over there. I'm getting a wrist cramp, actually. I wonder how much longer I want to play this. It's 10.30 right now. So, I guess I've been playing for about half an hour. I'll see if I can do another... I'll see if I can do another 10 minutes at least. Professor Cannoli's Kelpies. Plans to eat them. Kelpies. <laughs> Yuck. Don't let him hear you. He's sensitive. What's going on over here, nerds? Hi, Itsuko. We're just having a little chat, is all. Looky here, it's Miss Sucka. Oh! <laughs> Beretta got tired of you. Okay, I admit you're pretty good. I'm sorry for assuming you snuck in here, but I'm not giving up. To be fair, it's not that hard to be admitted. We're running out of funds, so any extra students help. I think most people just don't know about Luninsula. Good, I want it to stay that way. I can't stand I can't stand not being the top student here. I don't like competition. And you, Beretta, I hereby declare you as my rival. I will not give up! Ow. I don't think she has a desk anywhere to slam, so I had to do it for her. Excuse me? Didn't you hear me? We're now rivals, so we can't be nice to each other. Like you were being nice to me uh, uh, to begin with. I don't think that's true, but sure, I'll be your rival. Good, I'm glad that's settled. Tell me about yourself, Beretta. We never get a chance to talk properly to each other. See? Old man up on the, on the floor above me. See? This is how it's done. You just ask. You want to know somebody's backstory? You talk to them, you ask, you start a conversation, be all like, yo, hey, what's up, I'm gray, ma gray haired man, dude. Talk to me, what you like, what what, what, did, what kind of things do you like? What do you do for a living? What, Where did you go to school? All that stuff, see, that's how you learn about people. For one, I hate my name, it's so dumb. My parents are both weapon manufacturers. Uh, yeah, I noticed, I mean, Beretta. My parents are both weapons manufacturers. Specifically guns and ammunition. My dad's worked in a factory so long he's been promoted to manager. That's how I got my name, too. My dad loves the stupid Beretta pistols. I wish they named me something normal. Like Francine. I think Beretta's a lovely name. Yeah, you should have been named... You could have been named something worse, like Professor Cannoli. Yeah, Cannoli was a little bit, uh... Well, he does like to eat cannolis. <laughs> He's not even Italian! I have a pretty boring background. 
I was born and raised in Elysia. I quite like my parents. They're very nice people. My parents are annoying. I don't say that. I'm sure they care about you a lot. They can care about me and still be annoying. Or about her and still be annoying. Or maybe not. They could just be assholes. <laughs> no one asked for your opinion, Beretta. Stupid twin tails. At least I have normal magic. Say, why did you come here anyway? The last time a human discovered the insula was, was a century ago. I've always loved magic. I love exploring. Uninsula came to me in a dream one day, and I just knew I had to come. Really? It came to you in a dream? You, like, just saw the island in a dream? What? I did, I did. A lovely lady wa told me how to get here. Yeah, uh, sure, buddy. You were the chosen one, too, or something? Maybe. That's so romantic, Beretta. I wish I had a prophetic dream. But I'm just me, boring old Claire, with my lopsided boobs. There's the bell. Hi. Okay, I'll see you guys at Professor Shirley's class tomorrow. Boing, boing. So, I guess... Here, talk to me. Did you say anything different? Nope. I mean, like, I just gave you a visual demonstration right here. Talk to me, Shirley. Ugh, it's you guys again. I'm not feeling it today either. Go today? You act like it's a different day. Did I just spend an entire day in a conversation? Is that what just happened? Go talk to Professor Sheffield and learn some history or something. Ugh. Ah, that's the lamest subject. Oh, yeah, actually, that's pretty cool. Hello class, my name is Professor Sheffield and I teach the theory of magic. I thought you taught history. Shut up, child! This generation is so entitled and educated. Moving on. I need, I need, I need, oh, here we go, here we go. Feels like I've gargled gra graggles, gra 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 gargled gravel. Okay. To understand the theory and application of magic, one must learn the history of the craft. I bet not a single one of you named Kapoops know the founding of Alicia. <laughs> Golly, dude. Oh, oh, I know. Of course, Eatsko knows. Ah, Yitsuko, my child. Please enlighten the rest of these idiots with your knowledge. Oh, wow, dude. Basically, a long, long time ago, in a magical land island called Luninsula sprouted up, and it was inhabited by fairy people. These fairies lived in harmony with nature. One day, humans discovered the island and tried to take it over, but a great fairy named er Aaron Co er Earl 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 Koenig Earl Koenig Earl Koenig Earl named Earl united his people to fe fend off the evil menace, and in doing so, he created the great city of Elysia. I'm not gonna remember that. Exactly, Ichika. Now, uh, now that we understand our past, we must understand where our power- I already forgot what she said. Does anyone else want to explain? Claire? Um, I guess what- well, I guess I can do it. Embedded in this island are magic rocks called Lunite. No one really- uh, who? cover up the microphone whenever I take a drink so I don't make weird noises into the microphone like I don't already do that. Um, uh, Luna. No one really understands how they work, but we can channel this, the energy they provide into our magic. Magic. Precisely. And we fairies are even better at channeling the power of Luninsula than the dirty humans who can't bring out the true power of Lunite. must worship this guy. Rude, I'm right here. I've been doing fine, thank you very much. Unfortunately, some have abused the power of Lunite with human inventions. Faye Vivian knows all too well. Oh, wait. Who's talking? Oh, I know all about this. My mom told me that Lapyard City fairies 
use human technology alongside magic. My dad said Lapyard City people aren't even fairies anymore. They've all turned into humans. Disgusting, gross, smelly humans. Ah, children, you're all so much more knowledgeable than I thought. Maybe the future is in good hands. I know, why don't we go visit visit Faye Vivian and like talk to her and have a co an actual conversation and find out stuff about her past that I've been worrying about wondering about for all these years. We'll have her explain the history of that evil city herself. She's the one who knows most about it after all. Professor, are you sure? Faye Vivian is busy and all and besides, Beretta. Don't don't say too much. It's the second. I shall arrange the field trip immediately. Class, meet me at Faye Vivian's office. You all know where it is, right? It's in the uppermost level of town. <laughs> <sighs> Uppermost level of town. And you know what? I think right about here is about where I want to go ahead and uh, cut this off because, like I said, I've got a wrist cramp and my throat's all gravelly right now. So I'll uh, I, I'll pick this up next time. Next time I get a chance, I guess uh, tomorrow if I. Uh, Assuming my computer doesn't decide to mess up on me again. So thank you so much for coming to my stream. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to try to be on here again tomorrow. So uh, thank you very much. But guys, I hope you have a good night. Bye-bye.